Door to needle time is very important, and we know that time is brain. So the faster we can get a patient reperfused using TPA, the better off the patient will be. And some of the many hurdles that we challenge are actually occur in the emergency department. So what we try to do is make the patient come through the system and move through the system as efficiently as possible. Ways we do this is we engage EMS, so we work with our pre-hospital providers to give us early activation. And if I know a patient's coming, I'm able to get all the resources for that patient at the bedside. So pre-hospital notification, they start IVs for us that are critical. We get the, the stroke team at the bedside when they arrive, and we're able to get them to the CT scanner very quickly. So we've developed a multidisciplinary group of people with nurses and physicians from both the stroke team and the emergency department to come together and at the patient's bedside upon arrival of the patient to get them through from the door to the decision and diagnosis that they're having a stroke and then the decision do we treat or not. So there's no single answer to your question. It really is a multidisciplinary approach. And I think equally importantly, this group of 15, 20 people meet every week to go over our patient's treatments to see what can we do better the next time. So we really don't rest on our laurels. Our dorsal needle time has actually gone up from roughly in the teens back five years ago now to well over 50%. So we're not there yet, but we've made significant strides toward getting our dorsal needle time less than an hour for the national benchmark, which is 80% of all patients. And I really think it's achievable that we could see our benchmark even being higher than that. is a telemedicine system that is really based on the concept that time is brain. And we know that many of our rural sites will never have a neurologist or have access to a neurologist in a timely fashion. And that really is their only rate limiting step. So by providing two-way communication and video with these typically rural hospitals, although not always, we're able to provide on-site expertise using this two-way telecommunication system and, and again work in partnership with the outside hospital and the physicians and nurses. So we, before we even see our first patient with them, we go out and establish best practices. We give them our protocols for managing stroke patients. And that way, when we have a similar playbook, we're able to make sure that we understand one another and the patient gets the best care at the best time in the specific location. And, and really, this is a, a community effort, not only to, to ensure patients get the highest level of care, but make sure every hospital elevates their standard of care. So we currently have 15 centers that are collaborating with us within MUSC and we've, I think, administered over 100 cases of uh, TPA administration last year using the telemedicine system. Prior to that, it was probably single digits. And so where you have areas of the community in South Carolina that are at the highest risk for stroke, also often have the, the least amount of resources when it comes to neurology, we're able to put that neurological expertise in that community and give access of care that's not you know, typically present there to these patients that come in. So it really has made a big difference from an impact factor as well as one where we're bringing the hospital communities together in a single approach to deal with stroke. Roughly 76% of South Carolinians are now within a 60 minute drive time to a hospital that has reach access. So this is in contrast to where there was no access to healthcare related to stroke in the past. Now we're able to reach roughly three quarters of all South Carolinians within an hour of onset time, which is kind of the benchmark we use for stroke. So this is the impact of getting them to that hospital, activating the reach site, and starting to define what's the best care for that specific patient.